Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart together, taking a look at the technical analysis on this chart, the current massively crucial important support that we are on right now as we are speaking. We are going to be covering the support that we have here, the resistances to the upside. Honestly, if this support is lost, I am looking down at least towards these lows, if not lower. And well, the resistance for me is fairly easily, very easily defined right now. So I will talk you through that in this video. Personally, I have three minutes ago taken a long on Bitcoin here. This is a, uh, you know, a bit of a scalp trade and I'll give you my opinions, uh, you know, on a higher term time frame as well. But I am, you know, I've obviously I've still got my swing short positions, but for me, this level that we've just bounced off of was worth a quick long at the very least. So we'll see how that goes by the time I've ended the video in 10 minutes time. Well, let's begin then. So Bitcoin, what do we have here? We have a downtrend. What is our what is our downtrend characterized by its lower highs and lower lows? OK, so we just see continuous lower highs and lower lows. That's a downtrend. We have that on a bigger term time frame. Obviously, we have this really nice channel on the four hour chart. So on the four hour chart, we have this really, really well defined parallel channel, which I love. OK, which obviously captured the lows around here. And you have to remember each of these bounces. Obviously, we had that double bottom bounce yesterday. That was for about a 7 percent bounce. But this is what we have overall. And we can see we're you know, we're currently, as we speak anyway, holding support at the low of that parallel channel, which is obviously about forty two thousand dollars. OK, so that's the four hour chart. And that's also, though, still with a lower high and lower low. Let's come down to the 15 minute chart. From the 15 minute chart here, we are still making these lower highs and lower lows. And I found this really, really, really interesting. Uh, what we actually saw here was a series again with our, obviously our lower highs. You see this lower high, lower high, and the high rally that we put in yesterday or this morning really was another lower high, another lower high. So we could rally here even and put in another lower high and just continue downwards. That for me was extremely interesting. If we just mark out exactly so you can see these highs, that was obviously a clear one. But this lower high that was put in, we're talking about by a matter of dollars. OK, very close to breaking that high and changing the trend. But Bears defended the level very successfully. You can see here on the secondary retest before this big drop that we've just seen, another successful lower high put in. This for me signals Bears are in control. You might ask me then, why, why have you taken a, a, a long here, Daniel, when you have to remember this long is designed as a more of a quick day trade. I'll see how it goes in 10 minutes. It's either going to stop me out. I'm not going to hold it all the way down to the lows. It will either stop me out or, it'll, you know, we'll get a little bit of a rally here. I'm only looking for about first take profit around 44,400. So, you know, that's why I'm taking longs here. You know, I'm, I'm keeping my longs short and, you know, just quick trades, really, uh, at least to get in that take profit one. And, and for my shorts, you know, I still hold my shorts. Uh, two places where I obviously have taken a short on this, which I hold for now swing trades. Obviously, I still have my $63,000 short trade, which for me is my number one swing trade. And then the secondary short that I have, which I'm holding on to now, is when we moved up here to around that 50, you know, up to that $52,000 zone. That was the second short I take. And I'm holding both of those for swing trades and until we change this local trend. So until we at very least see this lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high trend, you know, change, I have no reason at all to close my shorts. And in that regards, I am looking for lower on the Bitcoin chart. OK, a very interesting thing that I also thought yesterday when we got this rally. OK, so there's a thing called a dead cat bounce. And what we see was when we take our fib from the higher that move down to the low. We come up to our first fib level, which is, you know, categorized dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce one, two and three. This is the three, eight, two Fibonacci level. So being unable to break that Fibonacci level for me just signifies as well. This rally is a dead cat bounce. <laughs> you know, th there's no way to deny it that this is, you know, we have to we have to acknowledge bears are in control right now, are actually on the medium term time frame and the lower term time frames. So that does make me only be somewhat interested in, you know, it just makes me say I am not going to close my short positions. OK, that's a simple fact. The longs, you know, this is how I'm changing up my plan because I, I want to hold my shorts and the longs that I'm taking are more scalp trades, quick trades. They win or they lose. You know, it's just, uh, 
going to try and fight you about as you might think what, what did we have down here well we actually had coming into a point of control and we have the CC obviously coming in at around, you know, that, let's just say $43,000 region. So, you know, we're a pretty, you know, I, I want to call this like a last region of support. If broken, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for lower and, you know, I'm going to be looking down to at least take these lows, you know, sub 40k if we break it. But at least we're going to be looking for these lows first, obviously, for a potential swing failure pattern. If there's no swing failure pattern, hey... These, the inverse moon sky is the limit to the downside. Uh, but that's like the scope of this video. I really wanted to bring your attention firstly to the market structure. I feel that is very important. Secondly, to the fact this rally, this rally, this rally, all lower highs, all to the straight two, dead cap bounce. What would make me a little bit more excited? Well, to be honest with you, it would be like actually breaking the three two fib um, until what proven otherwise. You have to, you know, you have to take caution i suppose with longs um know what you're doing uh, you know there was two areas of interest where i had uh lined up today where i was going to take a you know this is for educational reasons where i was going to look for a long first was actually going to be here and well the second place is where I've, I've taken it literally so uh here uh why was i going to look for a long here well actually i was looking for us to run the lows again kind of like a swing failure pattern setup where i was really going to look for this get back into the level that would have been for me, a long, obviously, this never came to fruition because we never done any kind of liquidity grab. I was going to be looking up for this as a trade. Obviously, I never, ever took the entry of this one simply because if we, even if we come down to like the, the three or one minute chart, what you will see is there was no entry at all as we just go straight down. You know, there's no entry there. Uh, what do I like about this one? Well, this one, this was a swing failure pattern type trade. This one isn't. This one is just hard support. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, we're getting a bit of a bounce. So, yeah, I've literally caught the pretty much the exact exact low of this. I mean, this isn't a massive bounce, so I'm not going to get carried away. <laughs> By the time this is uploaded, I literally could be out of the trade. So, you know, I don't want to hype that trade too much because <laughs> by the time this video is on YouTube, maybe it's already been stopped out. So we'll wait and see how it goes. But that's the reasonings why I had here point of control coming into the CCW region. Uh, in my opinion, really, that like... You know, coming up to a last level of defense at 43k so yeah, it was worth a sculpt trade at the very least um yeah so my closing thoughts here really are longs for me are short and sweet uh, that means i'm not going to get carried away and my expectations overall have to be that we're going lower okay what will change my expectations and change my probabilities uh it would have to be changing you know Change it, at least changing the market structure, uh, you know, better reclaiming and holding that 382. That would give me a nice idea that we're moving up. Uh, if on, I will try and trade this one with a take profit one and move to stop up. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Pretty nice bounce thus far. Um, so that's that's always good. It's always very good indeed. I did post about this one in the group really quickly. I'll show you the entry that I got. This was over in the, da -da 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 -da, the money shots worth a quick scope so yeah literally i've been in this one for about uh, just over 10 minutes and that entry literally at the absolute literally go and check on the tether pair of course absolute pretty much love to move thus far so we'll have to see how that goes again <laughs> it could have been stopped out by the time the video is uploaded so let's move on uh overall thoughts i am remaining bearish i am remaining in my swing short positions for me to change that perspective and really look for a much stronger rally i would like to see the 382 claimed as resistance currently that's not the case we are let me just pull it one more time that fib so you can see obviously the fib pull is from where we got into those lovely short positions up at around 52k again that short was called by me in the group pretty amazingly uh from that though obviously all we've done is you know, dead cat bounce into the 382. And now we're forming a sideways range with resistance coming in at around, you know, 46, support coming in at around 42. So we have about a $4,000 range, $42,000 to $46,000, giving us about $4,000 range. It's about a 10% range, more or less. You know, at the end of the day, it's extremely technical. You are able to take, you know, your shorts up the ties, longs down at the lows obviously looking at that triangle which in the end you broke the trend line of the triangle but you just came up for another lower high um it's as simple as that really that's my thoughts i wanted to end uh how long have we been going on nine minutes uh no i think i'll talk about that in a different stream i was going to talk about a few other things but um uh, yeah i'll cover altcoins in another stream i don't want this to go on longer than 10 minutes so i'll end with the disclaimer of course ladies and gentlemen not giving financial advice 
just trading on the paper demo accounts and um, entertainment educational video only. Do your own research. Uh, you know, I guess the best thing for you to do would be to educate yourself, learn, and then you can make your own setups and make your own trades. And that's obviously what we strive and aim for, giving an educational service over on chartchampions.com. Um, I did actually do a <clears throat> live stream this morning. So I've already done a live stream for the members. This is my second bit of video of the day. So I've already done a live stream. That's obviously for the members at uh, contenders and champion level. And then there's one thing I want to say before we end, and that is obviously with the... Uh, yeah, with the Champions League, uh, make sure you sign up for this. There is, what, two days left to enter. Uh, the rules are in a video on this video. The rules are in this video. Really simply, Confirm all you need to do to thing. get involved is, of course, register a new account via the Bybit affiliate link. Once you've made your new Bybit account, uh, join, the, join the competition using the link and then trade for the chance to win. Of course, you need to have 0 0.025, but like we were saying, there's, there's no real risks of entering in regards of, you know, it's a free entry in that regards. And if you don't trade, you don't trade, um, but you add to the prize pool. So that's always fun. <laughs> so yeah, go watch the video, which talks about the trading competition. Um, if you want more information, hey, I've done a lot of videos recently and I'm going to go manage this trade because I very much want to. So hope you've enjoyed this quick update. As we come down to this support, I've taught you through my thought process. And yeah, that's it really. Yeah, I'm going to go back and trade this. So let me just check this really quick. Yeah, so we could say this is a bit of a weak bounce. You know, open interest, not really strong, but yeah, I'm going to go back and trade this. Cheers, everyone. I'll upload this to YouTube now. Have a brilliant day and um, enjoy yourselves. Cheers.